Hello everyone and welcome to another KD video screencast. I will show you in this video my uh, new theme that I've just installed. It's called uh, Oxygen Transparent. It's basically a window manager um, that uh, enables transparency for all your uh, windows. Um, as you can see, this is my home folder and uh, you can uh, see through that blur my uh, my widgets it is also available for other applications like uh, key package kit let's minimize that um, every every part of uh, what it used to be the border and uh, uh, the background of the window it is now uh, transparent uh, this is not the default color theme and uh, uh, style, uh, but uh, I'll get to that in a moment. In order to uh, to get this uh, oxygen transparent theme, uh, you'll have to open a web browser, go to KD Look. Okay, in theme styles, you uh, this is uh, the uh, oxygen transparent for Fedora, um, which is uh, actually the one I saw first and got interested in. This is how uh, uh, this guy made it look on Fedora, it, which is really neat, really sweet, and um, yeah, I. Uh, I got very interested, and but this is the uh, this is the RPM uh, package for Fedora, so you'll have to go to the original uh, post. In here, we'll have lots of instructions, lots of uh, uh, comments. Nineteen pages of comments. See, people is really interested in it. Um, you will have to download the setup script I've already downloaded in order to download it uh, my web browser actually opens it not uh, prompting me a download uh, option in order to get it you'll have to actually right click and save link as and you can see I already have it in my download folder okay um, before we actually get to the script, uh, we will have to uh, uh, install some additional packages. Um, these are the dependency 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 packages. Um, if you are a Kubuntu user, you will have to install these. You actually have to copy, open the terminal and paste the command and it will install uh, build essential cmake kd libs5 dev keybase workspace dev libx render dev and uh, libx11 dev and git okay once you done that you'll have all the dependencies uh, Again, this is if you are a Kubuntu user. If you're not a Kubuntu user, you may have other dependencies depending on your um, distribution. Um, I didn't actually get to install it the first time. I will tell you uh, how I did actually manage to install it. Um, first of all, um, this is the package I've installed, but it has a number, something like this one three six or whatever. It was a number here, so I actually renamed this uh, file to simply oxygen setup.pl. Then I opened it with Kate, and and. Uh, ok, all you have to do is follow these steps copy and paste uh, uh, commands in terminal this is the first command, once it's done this is the second one 
and uh, this is uh, a bit tricky if you're not paying attention it says copy download path oxygen setup pl dot actually you have to replace download path to actually to the actual path of your uh, downloaded file in my case it was uh, home uh, my username downloads and uh, this was the folder that uh, it was uh, downloaded into file named oxygen setup.pl okay uh, once you've done this this is the uh, final command uh, in order to make the installation wait a little and then uh, you'll see that uh, uh, it stops at a point you will see a lot of colored text on your terminal uh, once uh, it stops you'll have to go to your home folder it will create this oxygen transparent folder go to CRS and uh, you'll have this folder installed that I've opened it with Kate uh, these are some uh, commands that you'll have to, to type in terminal also for um, uh, for this uh, theme to be fully installed so once again open a terminal copy this command and paste them into the terminal this command right here actually gave me a warning or something or error I don't know I just uh, passed uh, passed uh, off it uh, also don't make uh, this uh, build folder because uh, uh, it already is created so you don't have to do that okay so this command this command maybe this command if it gives you some sort of an error or an warning just ignore it this command and finally this command once you've done that you're almost ready you'll have to open the system settings go to application appearance style and select oxygen transparent from style widget style right here then go back go to workspace appearance and select oxygen transparent once again this will uh, make this uh, theme uh, with uh, the style and the border to look alike to uh, integrate one into another they actually blend and uh, create a fully uh, neat uh, theme for the window after that if you want to further customize it you can go to colors and select uh, uh, a color theme that you like or get new color themes online or uh, maybe customize your own colors you you can choose I actually ended up uh, having this uh, color theme it was made from ghost but it, it was uh, it was a bit tuned I used ghost since uh, my uh, widget style is ghost my theme is ghost uh, my panel is uh, H2O uh, style and that's about all the customization that I've made um, also the menu is a bit transparent um, this uh, network uh, I don't know it's also transparent um, that's that's the idea the right click menu is transparent that's the idea of this team it makes uh, uh, all menus and windows transparent I think this is a great improval to the KD and uh, I I just have to wait for uh, for this team to get fully uh, accepted by uh, the KD theme and maybe one day it will be accepted as the official theme and uh, integrated 
uh, in the official KDE packages so you can have it by default not having to compile uh, to work with scripts and so on thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you next time